Hello and welcome. Once again back with you with another cool C Sharp Windows Console application. So this is guessing a number. It's a, just a small game where um, the user will guess for a number which is generated by random number generator in C Sharp. And uh, you know, once the guess application guesses the number correctly, then the user will come to know that how many tries it took for the application to guess the number. So we click on file and click um, new project in Visual Studio start page. I'll make this as a console application and name it guess number. Starts creating the project. So I found the console application is the most suitable way of interacting with the game like this, which captures user interaction, user input and response appropriately. So our static main method is created. So I will create a random object, you know, of class rand, so which is a just a random number generator with random rand equals new random. Come on, come on. It's a bit slow. All right, and. There is a there are several methods for this random class. One of them is next method. So I will use that next method to generate a new random number. So rand dot next. It has got int maximum value, I will give the int maximum value, int minimum value is 1 and 100, so it will generate a number from 1 to 100 with 100 exclusive. And then I will put a prompt to the user console.write line, just in case this is not a mandatory step, but this is um, for my own purpose that I know what the random number has been generated. Yeah. And then I will call this function number guess. And pass in this random number. Now this red squiggly line is because you know this um, doesn't exist in the current context so I have to write that method and fix it. So my method here is a private with static keyword because I need to be able to use it straight away from my entry point main method without creating an instance of this class and I will pass in the int just a random number and write it anything but let me put it so that it is more explicit to the users and then I'll initialize a variable tries. This is going to capture the number of tries it takes for the application before the guess is correct. At the top, in line with the present day practice, I will put all the 
variables as var. So it is its type is resolved at the runtime. I'll put a try catch block to make it move. Full proof try catch. So automatically try catch block is um, made for me. And within the try block, I'll write some code, which is console dot write line. Now key in your guess. Key in your guess the colon and the user's guess is captured and converted into an in 32 type, 32 bit integer type. So I'll make I'll reinitialize increment tries because the user has already tried once in giving his guess. Now comes the fun part. The condition is now the condition is if the guess while the guess is not equal to the random number, do this you know in iterative loop. Well, guess not equal to random number. So do what? So first increment tries. And then the conditional statement comes if guess is less than if guess is greater than the ran random number for example then console dot right line try lower right line prompt the user to try a lower number try because he is already higher than the random number which is to be guessed. So console dot write line try lower and again this part I'll just copy from the top just to get the user's input. And the same statement is repeated over here. Else if random number is greater than the guess then do what then try a higher number because now the guess is less than the random number so I'll just copy from the top which has been a favorite copying and pasting is a great technology. So try higher. It saves a lot of time and amount of effort. Console the right line try higher and then again take another guess. Just copy the code from upstairs and paste it. Finally, it's we are into the this that's it the while block is finished try block is finished and the catch exception e console dot write line e dot message you can say okay and then I come outside the try catch block and finally I can write a finally block over here try catch finally finally execute this finally console dot right line you got it in how many trials that's to be written you this is the output of the result of this game got it in within curly braces I would like to write zero because that is the placeholder for any variables to be omitted 
in this right line statement and tries and that's basically it let's say if it builds we'll start it takes a wee while for the first time to be built <laughs> Build succeeded and control F5 will run the application without debugging. Key in your guess. 78. Try lower. 56. Try lower. 44. Try lower. 23. Try higher. 27.6. Try higher. Say 30. So you got it in 6 trials. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's fine. So basically, it actually um, looks for the logic is uh, goes something like this. You know, uh, first time you know, key in 78, so you have to go for lower. So you went lower. You have to go again lower. You keyed in 44. You have to again go lower because the value was 30. So you tried 23. Then you have to try higher because that is the, you have to reach. 30 so you 26 now again you try higher but it has to remain between 26 now it is getting narrowed down with each iteration you can see so it has to uh, be more than 26 but it has to be less than 44 so with successive iterations it finally calculates the correct guess you know it, it guesses correctly and that's it thank you